22 years old, you have uh, your co-founder come, Nag uh, Naga Bharat, and you all decide to join ISRO. 22 years, am I right? Absolutely, yeah. So why did you all go into ISRO? You could have done it yourself. You could have started an entrepreneurship before that. You would have had the lead on what prompted you to go to Indian Space Research Organization. Yeah, so uh, in fact, like, uh, uh, especially people in the IITs, you know, they want to uh, join uh, companies or go abroad, you know, get uh, fat paychecks, etc. But in fact, like, I was very clear that uh, I are really very fascinated with rockets. And I want to like, you know, do something very exciting with my life. Uh, and then, uh, uh, but still, I want to start a company at that point of time. But I never imagined that a rocket company would be something in my mind at that time. <laughs> but I uh, want to start a company, but didn't have the guts to start straight out of college. Uh, but my fascination is towards space rockets. So took on that leap of faith and uh, joined ISRO as a scientist straight out of college, which uh, very few people choose, especially from the IITs, actually. Yeah. And both Nag Bharat and him, they built the GSLV. Of course, you were in charge of the GSLV and he was in charge of the electronics. GSLV, guys, is the Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle 3. It is ISRO's biggest rocket ever. It's the third largest uh, rocket launcher in the world. Am I right? It's giant. If you look at it, ah, even that, uh, you know, Pavan, your first rocket's about that high, right? This, this, uh, yeah, it's seven storied uh, building tall. Yeah, maybe right? of that site. Yeah. Right. And so you, you, you quit. ISRO, I mean, this was a fantastically safe paying job. You had the best rockets that you were building. Why did you quit? Uh, so, in fact, and, like... And let me tell you, he was 28 years old when he quit. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, in fact, like, since college days, like I told, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Uh, because I believe that entrepreneurship brings a lot of independence, can create a lot of impact in the country. And I strongly believe that entrepreneurship is going to, like, you know, change India. And I always wanted to start a company, but I didn't know what to start, <laughs> where to go. But my uh, fascination is always to tech. So I joined ISRO and, uh, and I would say like even though I graduated from an IIT, I really became an engineer after drawing, joining ISRO. You know, after uh, doing like this cutting edge work at uh, what ISRO is doing at that point of time and uh, really loved that uh, time. And uh, six years there, I felt like, you know, the future of Indian space is a mix of, uh, you know, uh, public uh, agency and private agencies. You know, that's the future because uh, till then it's only like, uh, uh, you know, only so which is a very strong uh, public agency, which is doing really good. But to go global scale and to become a global player, I think uh, it's a good mix, very healthy mix of uh, strong public agency, which is is already is, and a very strong private enterprise. So I saw an opportunity there and, you know, I thought uh, would take that leap of faith and start the company. No, no, but at the beginning is do do, right? Money. Where did you get the money? <laughs> you <laughs> you give you a great job, you have a safe job, you you could get married easily. People would want to come and say it, but you, you gave up that. Where do you get the first bit of money that you did? From Bengaluru. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in fact, like our first uh, investor is Mukesh Bansal, who built like CureFed, Mintra. You know, he's based in Bengaluru. And in fact, I, I came traveling to, you know, meet him. And then uh, I pitched to him that, you know, this is what we're doing, quitting our jobs. You know, this is a vision we have. You know, we want to build like strong private enterprise, which can go global. And uh, out, out of our surprise, he decided to invest. And he wrote in, like, I think, like, we just had a 45 minutes meeting and we had a 10 crore check, uh, wow, wow. you know, to start the company. Guys, listen, 10 crore check immediately. I'd like that. I haven't earned 10 crores in all my life, but still, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's how the journey started. So I think uh, successful entrepreneurs, uh, you know, boosted our initial journey. Okay. Uh, you know, because they have seen that journey and they believe that India had this in deep technology, especially in space. You know, because we're already top five countries in the world with space technology. And then I think the private uh, space is the next big step. And I think uh, really fortunate that we had that support from investors to start with. And uh, I think so far, uh, you know, we have raised like 750 crores. 750 crores, guys, from 10 crores in four years, five years.